Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video, we're gonna learn how to hear odd time signatures. I'm gonna try and help you alleviate some of the mystery behind the concept of odd time signatures and odd time beats. Now, by odd time, I mean everything that's not 4-4 four, four time or 3-4 time. Everything that's not 1-2-3-4, or 1-2-3-1-2-3-1-2-3-1-2-3 because even though 3-4 is an odd number, it's still symmetrical because we tend to hear it and feel it as 12-8 most of the time. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. We, we still feel it as if we're counting 4, but dissecting it into triplets. So 4-4 four, four and 3-4 are the most common rhythmical uh, approaches. But odd time signatures can be a lot of fun if you learn how to hear it. You don't even have to incorporate it into your playing. I'm gonna to try to help you with, uh, with that too. But the, the important thing is to feel it. Learn how to feel odd time signatures. It's really a lot of fun. So by odd time signatures, I mean something like 5-4 uh, time or 7 eighths or 9 eighths time or even 11 8 time and the basic idea is to um, to cut it in the middle and to see it as uh, two parts creating an uneven number for example 5 4 time is basically 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 and if you want to play it yourself just use bass and chord 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 okay and you have uh, some songs you can use uh, that you all know to get used to it, you have the Mission Impossible theme. It's dum 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 dum. See, it's five four time, and it's not really five four time because the feel there is actually ten eight time. It's taka ta taka ta taka 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 ta taka ta taka 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 ta taka ta taka taka ta. It's three three four. It's taka ta taka ta taka 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 ta taka ta taka taka taka. See, and that's the approach we're gonna use to learn to listen to odd time signatures. It's basically just breaking it down into sort of a puzzle that creates a whole rhythm. So let's let's try again. And we get the the Mission Impossible theme. And you see right now that you you can sing 10 a time. You can sing 5-4 time without a problem once you learn to hear it. And that's the that's actually the brilliance behind that theme. Now take five, the classic example of 5-4 time, which is da 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 is also in 5-4. Da 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 Basically, we're playing da 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 da, which is 3, and then da da, which is 4 and 5. Da 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 da, da 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 Okay, so let's um... Okay, I'm taking A minor and then I'm adding zero and three on the sixth string, E and G. Okay, and you can play the chords themselves if you like. Yeah, I'm playing E minor and G. Okay, so we have five four time and I hope that even at this point in this lesson, you have more confidence in your own ability to hear odd time signatures, even before we move into the more complex time signatures, because as you can see, it's not very complex if you know how to approach it. So that's 5-4 time. Uh, not that difficult, right? Now, 7-8 time, if you can believe it, is even more fun than 5-4. 
It's um, it's a widely used rhythm in um, in Baltic music uh, and even in even in Western music. You have a lot of seven eight, and you don't even realize it. Um, it's basically four and three. So you can play ta 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 ka ta ka ta ka ta ta ka ta ka three and four, or ta ka ta ka ta ka ta ka ta ka ta ka ta, which is four and then three. It makes no difference in what order you put the four and three. It makes a difference uh, whether you can feel it or not. And I prefer to hear it as three and then four. It's easier. It's ta ka ta ta ka ta ka ta ka ta ta ka ta ka. Okay. Ta ka ta ta ka ta ka 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 ta. Okay, slower. Ta ka ta ta ka ta ka ta ka ta ta ka ta ta ka ta ta ka ta ka ta. Okay. Now let's try it with the chord. Ta ka ta ta ka ta ka ta ka ta ta ka ta ka ta ka ta ta ka ta ka ta. If you want something more interesting, try arpeggios. See, one two three, one two one two. Play the A bass string every time you play the first string. Okay. Now you can also change chords once you're used to this. One two three. One two one two one two three. One two one two one two three. One two one two one two three. You can also challenge yourself and try to take uh, an easy composition. And play it in seven eight time. Now this is a more complex exercise, but if you can hear the one two three one two one two one two three one two one two one two three uh, feel, and if you can can feel the beat, the tam 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 tam, then you can take let's say green sleeves and try to to fit it in there. to be exactly the same uh, composition. You can just take something and try to see if you can play it in 7-8 time. You don't have to play, it, uh, to play it perfectly, you just have to get used to the rhythm. This is a rhythm exercise. So as you can see, 7-8 time is actually a lot of fun. It's taka ta taka 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 ta taka ta 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 Now 9-8 time is actually a complex rhythm. It's the most complex of all. So let's move to 11-8 for a moment. Um, ironically, it's easier to get used to than 9-8 and then go back to 9-8 time. So 11-8 time, my favorite approach is 4-3-4, uh, right? Let's try to create a melody out of it. Um, just to to hear it. Okay, that's 11 8 time. So let's see if we can play something with this. Uh, it's a little more challenging, but let, let's try. the beats. Okay. The pull-off on 3 to 0 on the E string. Now 1, 2 is still 1, 2, 3, 4. But I'm accentuating it to create a rhythm out of it. We don't have to play all the eighth notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, da, da. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, Eight, nine, eight time is a little different than everything else. Nine, eight time um, 
because you can say that it's three threes, there's a difficulty in, in creating an odd time feel to it because you can't do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, because that's triplets. And uh, then it creates a three, four time. So what do you do with that? You play four and what? Play four, four, one? Doesn't really work that way. So you can play three, four, and two. And you can do it uh, like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two. See? Makes everything a lot easier and it sounds like an odd time signature. And I warned you, it's a bit difficult to get used to 9-8. 7-8 is my absolute favorite, but 9-8 is the least friendly of them all, in my opinion. Um, it might be subjective. Um, you might have a very easy time getting used to 9-8. So again, 1-2-3-4, 1-2-3-1-2, 1-2-3-4, 1-2-3-1-2. Okay? Ah, no, not the same idea. A G chord to indicate the one two at the end. Okay? I know it's difficult to hear it. It doesn't make much sense musically. You really have to be a genius to create something meaningful in nine eight. Okay? Uh, at least while trying to give examples and I haven't prepared anything because I wanted to make sure that I was hearing it instead of just regurgitating examples. So I'm actually making them up on the spot. So let's try again. Let's try to use the E minor scale and try to create something. Okay, try to count it with me. was 9-8. I hope. I hope I didn't lose any uh, of the, the counts. But if so, it was still odd time because it's changed and it didn't keep uh, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 feel. And that's what we're going for in this lesson. Now, before we finish this lesson, I just want to give you one extra bonus kind of rhythm, uh, something that I personally enjoy toying around with. It's a 7-5 rhythm pattern. It's a bar of 7-8 and a bar of 5-8. And the basic rhythm is this. Pam, 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 pam. Can you can you hear it? Can you count it? Try it. Pam, 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 pam. Okay? It's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay? It's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay? Pam. Pa, 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 pa. Okay? Try try to sing it. Taka 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 ta taka ta taka 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 ta taka taka. No, no, that was one two one two. Taka 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 ta taka ta taka. Okay? If you can do that, you're doing better than me. Uh, I just made a mistake. Taka 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 ta taka ta taka 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 ta taka ta taka. One, two, pa, 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 pa. Now try to accompany yourself with it. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.